Hello everyone, during the process of repairing hardware fault inside the ECM. The Moto Scan tab will help you find the fault location. The next not so small challenge for motorbike repairmen, who are not electronics professionals is choosing replacement components, with equivalent specifications is a difficult job. This raises the question, of which components will replace the damaged components, and how to choose components, with equivalent specifications, on the appropriate market. To solve this problem, MotoScan Tab 2.5 or Moto Data 8.3 software is ready to support this function, but perhaps you don't pay attention. The special point we want to introduce today is the equivalent component lookup feature, technical specifications, and testing of bipolar junction transistors, BJT, and field effect transistors, MOSFET. This feature helps you check and evaluate the quality of transistors accurately and quickly. For example, in a specific situation with a suspected ECU that has an internal fault and is causing the engine not to start. To determine the cause, I used the ECU tester function, a powerful, in-depth function of the MotoScan tab machine to help you check and confirm whether the ECU is defective. After connecting and performing checks, Moto Scan Tab found a fault inside the ECU, and reported fault code AV1106A. Content Details Pump Relay Control Power Circuit Open inside main chip of ECM, or intermediate power, state transistor fault inside ECM. Moto Scan Tab is a modern, intelligent device that provides accurate information about the cause of the problem and the specific location of components that need to be checked and replaced inside the ECU. I followed the instructions and removed the component to replace it. Please note the DTD Auto Fault Code for damaged components that the Moto Scan Tab device gives here to save and use in finding equivalent components, in the following section. Here is a defective transistor, that I removed from an ECU that needed testing. Normally, for simplicity, we can immediately remove another good transistor, with a similar function, and location from another ECU of the same type. However, in situations where we do not have another ECU, of the same type available to remove components, another solution is to buy a new transistor, with equivalent specifications, from a store that sells electronic components on the market. So, how do we know about, these technical specifications to buy, if we are not electronics professionals? To help you with this difficult task, I will guide you how to look up, equivalent transistor information to buy, and how to do basic testing, to evaluate the quality of this transistor, before replacing it. At the main interface of MotoScan tab or Moto Data software. Click on, look up and calculate. Select, function. Then select, check MOSFET, transistor. Need the following information. Component information. DTD Auto ECM Repair Fault Code, Component Names and Component Technical Specifications. Now, please enter the DTD Auto Fault Code, that MotoScan Tab has found, and enter it into the MotoScan Tab, or Moto Data Software, as I instruct here. ECU Repair Fault Code, AV1106A. Here you just need to enter the correct repair fault code, given by DTD Auto to get information about, whether the component is a BJT transistor, or a MOSFET. ECU Repair Fault Code, AV1106A. MOSFET Number, K2782. This information is printed, on the body of the MOSFET component. Please see here, after entering the fault code, MotoScan tab or MotoData, has provided the exact technical specifications, 
of the defective component that you are looking for. You can also see visual images of components, and basic technical specifications here, that are enough for you to buy in the store. In addition, if you cannot buy a component, with the correct part number as the old component, you can choose the parameters based, on the operating parameters, of the working transistor by selecting, the parameters below. End channel, type of MOSFET where the channel, the pathway, for current flow is composed, of an N-type semiconductor material. UDS, maximum, 60 volt, maximum allowable voltage between pin D, and pin S, of the transistor. UGS, maximum, 20 volt, maximum allowable voltage between pin G, and pin S, of the transistor. ID, maximum, 20 amp, is the maximum load current allowed to pass through pins D, and S. TJ, switching response frequency, of the component. RDS, maximum, 0.39 ohm, the largest resistance, in the conduction state allowed, between pins D, and S. These basic technical specifications, provide complete details, on which you can choose suitable replacement components, helping you choose components, with the same specifications, when you cannot find and buy the same components. Similarly, you can select search fields according, to the technical parameters, you need such as channel, UDS, maximum, UGS, maximum, ID, maximum, TJ, response frequency, and RDS, maximum. Immediately the tool will display a list of BJT transistors, or MOSFET in the list that can meet. Now, you just need to find, and choose a surface welded component, or through whole component of the same type, for an equivalent replacement. In this case, I found and compared MOSFET part number, TK25S06N1L, with similar parameters that can replace, K2782, MOSFET. After knowing the component names, you can search on the market, or the sales websites of electronic component suppliers. Once you have found replacement components, either old components from another ECU, or new components purchased at the store, you can test according, to the instructions on the Moto Scan tab, to quickly check the quality, of the components if necessary. Click on the box, Testing Instructions. Step 1. Turning the rotary switch, of meter to on kilo ohm. Step 2. Use a screwdriver to short, G terminal, and, D terminals, it will release electricity on, G terminal. Step 4. Connect the black test lead of meter to, G terminal, and connect the red test lead of meter to, D terminal. Observe meter needle, if the meter needle move to maximum, 0 ohm, then MOSFET is bad. If the meter needle don't move to maximum, then click to, next, to continue. Step 3. Connect the black test lead of meter to, G terminal, and connect the red test lead of meter to S terminal. Observe meter needle, if the meter needle move to maximum, 0 ohm, then MOSFET is bad. If the meter needle don't move to maximum, then click to, next, to continue. Step 5. Connect the black test lead of meter to, D terminal, and connect the red test lead of meter to, S terminal. Observe meter needle, if the meter needle move to maximum, 0 ohm, then MOSFET is bad. After checking according, to instructions like MOTO scan tab, this transistor is good. 
So I will proceed to replace this good component into the ECU, and the ECU will return to normal operation. Through this great function in Moto Scan tab, and Moto Data, you will be able to confidently find components, check the quality of replacement components, and repair ECU simply, without having to buy a new ECU. DTD Auto is committed to providing an efficient and convenient repair experience, helping you quickly fix fault inside the ECU with the high end Moto Scan Tab device. If you love the content and want to update the latest videos from DTD Auto's channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive notifications every time. A new video is released on this channel. Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and visit our social media pages, for more updates. Thank you and see you in the next videos.